Today in our 2012 Toyota Camry, we're doing a test fit of the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 bike rack. That part number is TH910XT. Now we already have our bike secured down. We're first going to show you how we secure it in place. So we have three straps all together, two over our frame and one back here as our anti-sway strap. We're going to start by pulling down and lifting up to release those. And with those removed, we can take our bike off and we'll set it off to the side. Now we can take a few measurements. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. With our arms hanging out, that's going to be about 19 inches. Now we have another measurement and another position we can put our arms into. We're going to pinch our two points on each side and wiggle our arm back and forth. We're going to keep wiggling that until it comes loose and rotates down. Same thing with the other arm. Wiggle until that rotates. So now we're only adding about 8 inches to our vehicle. Now as for how our bike rack is secured down, we have six straps all together, two over the top portion of our trunk, two to the sides above our taillights, and two underneath the bottom portion. We also have padding along the bottom and along the top, and there's going to be coating on our hooks to prevent any scratches or abrasions. Now as for how we adjust this to actually fit our vehicle, we have a fit dial on each side. We're going to undo our wing nut here and adjust it to whatever number. We do have that set to 7 as per our Thule guide, and you will get the list with all the other fit numbers for different vehicles as well. So that's going to be our completed look at the Thule Passage Trunk Mount 2 bike rack, part number TH910XT on our 2012 Toyota Camry. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.